Hey everyone, it's about 3.43, so I got about 7 minutes before I clock in. Well, not clock in, but get back to my break, my last break that is. 3.43 p.m. Pacific Time on May 22nd, 2018, which is a Tuesday. And apparently it's getting busy, you know we're getting close to graduation. It's graduation time and you know it's also Memorial Day weekend coming up. Because people are going nuts. It is getting busy. People are heading out of town. I guess people are getting off work, going home, getting changed, and heading out. What have you. But anyway, I thought I'd come on here and I wanted to kind of talk a little bit about All In. Um, as I mentioned before, I did a video on it. All In apparently is uh, sold out. Well, apparently had sold out. But it seems there are a couple more tickets according to numerous sources now. There's a couple more tickets um, available. Uh, according to sources, Cody and the Young Bucks are getting more tickets available. Um, and as predicted by some people like uh, OTR Central and even Deluxe Man and several others, and I think even I talked about it, most of those tickets that were sold within that half hour <coughs> are actually just um, people that want, are actually people that work for like StubHub or something like that that wants to sell them for enormous prices more than what they originally retailed for or were selling for um, anyway um, anyway all in of course is uh, I think September 1st I think around September 1st in several months it's going to be at the Sears Center um, outside of in the Chicago you know within the Chicago region which is um, Hill State, Illinois, I think, I can't think of the name right now, but it's going to be at the Sears Center. Um, it's basically another venue outside of Chicago. Not, it's not the Rosemont Horizon, which is the All-State Arena, but it's still basically like that. It's located in Chicago. And there's a lot of people talking about, you know, what's going to happen there. You know, who's going to appear, who's going to compete. Uh, there's talk about CM Punk possibly showing up, maybe Enzo, Enzo Amore under his real name, um, Eric Andrent or something like that, and a few others. Um, but one of the big things that I talked about during my video on it, and I'm sure TR Essential may have brought this up, and Deluxe Man, I, I think he may have brought it up, but if you're going to do a show like this, and I do agree that All In, if it's successful, if it's basically the wrestling, it's basically that wrestling boom, it, it basically becomes that boom that wrestling needs. Needs. Then I can definitely see it sort of being like the, uh, the super clash of a new generation, but more successfully. I could see it being like an independent WrestleMania like event. Uh, I could see it being in a Bound for Glory like event and all that so I can see all that happening excuse me sorry about that but like I said I could see it being like the mega event the Super Bowl of independent wrestling possible well at least potentially being in that category or growing to that category um, within if it's successful I really do um, one thing though that I mentioned that hopefully they're going to try to do and right now it sounds like that hopefully they will do and it looks like they're working on this. I think even I tweeted Cody Rhodes on this but I didn't get a tweet back yet. That is, are they is trying to broadcast this for everyone to see because we know that if they don't have some kind of view, some kind of way, if they don't have some way of people that won't be able to attend to see it live, if they won't, if they won't be able to, if they don't have that way, it's not going to help them. I mean, true, the show might be a success in the end, but still, it might not be as successful as it really could be if they don't have the viewership behind the attendance, behind that live attendance. Because even if, let's say, they get on pay-per-view and they charge 20 bucks for the show, in addition to the attendance, those buy rates will really help determine along with the live attendance figures 
whether or not the show is a success. It will do that. That will be what it does. On the other hand, if they don't have some kind of viewing, rev some kind of viewing, some kind of uh, some kind of uh, deal, some kind of viewership deal, a viewing deal, streaming cable, whatever, in place then again, it still might be a success, but it could also mean that it could fail in the long run. Like, it could be a success, but it would fail to the point that um, basically it would only be like every now and then. Like, you could have it this year, and maybe you'll have it again in another two to three years. And if... Cody and the Young Bucks, the Bullet Club, and all those involved want this to be a yearly thing, then they need to find a way to let the whole world see it. And hopefully they'll be able to work that out. According to Cody's tweet that he had sent out recently, they are working on talking with several um, groups, I guess. They're going from Los Angeles, Dallas, Florida, you name it, and trying to meet up and probably some other places, including the UK, to try to meet up with several providers that will help them broadcast all in, either possibly through pay-per-view on cable pay-per-view, maybe on a cable network, or most likely on streaming. Now, if they go the streaming route, which is probably the most likely route, they got, they got several options, they do. There is, uh, there's no doubt they got several options options uh, at their disposal. They got the Fight app. Um, they got Twitch right now, which is partner with House of Hardcore and and uh, and Impact Wrestling and several other promotions. You got the Global Wrestling Network they could actually work with if they wanted to do that. Um, you also have believe it or not right here you have YouTube YouTube you have YouTube Red that could actually work in their favor because they could actually if they want to charge people to see it they could do that through YouTube Red um, they can go up with Vimo this may not be as well known but they could work with them so they got a variety of outlets to look into the question is which direction would they go in now if they go traditionally pay-per-view then of course they'll probably go the 20 buck route for the for buying it but here's the thing they go that route then well of course no matter how who they work with the per whatever provider or, or deal they get into place the people they deal with are going to want to cut of the a cut a cut of the profit they're going to want a cut of the money and my thought on this my, my thought process on this is if they do that if they do that then they'll still be a success but knowing how cable companies work and maybe streaming companies or these video uploading services work they're gonna want major cuts of it and probably more than maybe Cody and the Young Bucks want to agree with or agree to so um, I mean, Cody did say it himself. This is a first for them. This is the first time they've been in this position to where now they have to work with whoever they can get make a deal with. And hopefully they make a deal with somebody real, real soon. Um, my top suggestions would be Twitch and YouTube. I think uh, Twitch might be the better option. Because, you know, even though Impact has some problems with it at times, I think it might be the better option. But YouTube has also proven to be a great outlet for, for wrestling. We've seen that with reality of wrestling. We've seen that with uh, some other independent shows that have done the live events, or their special events, and so mega events or whatever, monthly, you know. You, know, you get the pay-per-view-like events on YouTube. So either it's been for free or it's been through YouTube Red. So those, to me, are the two, reven two possible, if not more, realistic avenues they can go down when they want to broadcast this show so hopefully one of them will work heck maybe they might work something out with netflix and netflix will broadcast the show live and do replays of that who knows i mean netflix is already showing 
uh, see, I think the first three seasons of Lucha Underground, this last time I checked, so maybe they might work with them on this, we don't, we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, they can get Access TV to work with them, Sinclair Broadcasting, but I think the most logical direction and probably the most realistic uh, direction they can go in is going to be either Twitch or YouTube. That's the, probably the best solution I think they're going to get go with. So, um, but those those are just my thoughts on you know how I believe All In is going to be broadcast and will it be broadcast? I believe it will be, and I, and I believe that the two best options for them will be YouTube and YouTube and Twitch, either or or maybe even both. So, those are just my thoughts. Uh, let me know what you guys think down below. Comment if you like. Who, which direction do you think they might go in to broadcast this event when it happens on September 1st? Let me know what your thoughts are. I'd like to hear from you guys, and I'll talk to you all later.